This is our last solve for unknown numbers. Again, I'm going to use the matrix. I don't have a lot of room here, so let's try to squish it in. All right. Read the question, fill in your known information. The following information is provided for you. There were no additional contributions by the owners. Zero. Calculate dividends for the period. Ooh. Total assets end of the period, 345,000. Total liabilities end of the period, 138,000. Owner's capital end of the period. Ooh, now let's go back to the flowchart. Recall that equity is made up of owner's capital and retained earnings. So if we have opening balances at the beginning of the year, there must be owner's capital and retained earnings. And those two things added together is equal to equity. So we can split equity apart. Let's do it. Owner's capital end of the period 75,000. And we would add that in to retained earnings once we find it out. Retained earnings at the beginning of the year. Ooh. Well, we know equity is equal to owner's capital at the beginning of the year plus retained earnings. So here we know that retained earnings at the beginning of the year is 145,000. Profit for the period. Well, profit is made up of revenue minus expenses. So I know revenue minus expenses is equal to 52,000. I've put in all the information. Now let's put in our equal signs and our pluses. All right, let's solve for the closing first. 345,000 is equal to 138,000. To solve for equity, we're going to take 345,000, subtract 138,000, and that is equal to 207,000. Now, we know that 207,000 is equal to 75,000 plus X. We have to solve for X, which is 207,000 minus 75,000. It's equal to 132,000. Now, remember from the flowchart, let's just flip back to the flowchart for a second. Retained earnings is equal to profit minus dividends. So here we have opening retained earnings. We're going to add in the profit. We're going to deduct the dividends, which is some unknown number X, which is going to be negative. And that's going to be equal to closing retained earnings, 132,000. So 145,000 plus 52,000 minus 132,000 will solve for X and we'll know the dividends. And the dividends are equal to $65,000. You can see your understanding of the financial reporting elements, the definition of those elements, the flow chart or the equations and how they interconnect are all going to tie into your ability to analyze transactions in the future as well as create the financial statements, which of course will be the topic of our upcoming series of videos.